Well, it's the next morning and uh, it's time to move the car. As you can hear the uh, internal heat's on, warming up everything. Windows are melting here a little bit. We're in the process of getting the ground plowed here. Uh, so let me move this thing out of the way and uh, let's see exactly how it goes. It's been uh, warming up about 20 minutes. And let's uh, unplug the charge cord. Charge uh, hatch closed, no problem. I'm just going to set the uh, charge cord right on the snow in the hood because when I uh, move it again, I'll probably plug it in. All right, so we've been defrosting here 20 minutes. Looks like some snow from uh, last night still here. It's nice and warm. Let me uh, let me restart this in a wide mode. Okay, now we're in wide mode. Got a little snow around. That shouldn't hurt anything. Last night I decided to move it closer. And it's uh, showing 10 degrees on the screen. It's all right. Put in our code and we'll uh, back this thing up a little bit. Okay. You can kind of see here. Gonna break snow up a little bit. And there's no trouble. I'm just going to move this back so uh, they can plow the road, move it back with the other vehicles here. I want to whack the pickup. And there we are. No trouble. So, I'm going to go ahead and put it in park. We'll leave it here. This is where the Model Y was parked last night. As you can see, I uh, had it plugged in up front. But now it's parked back there. And uh, I think uh, the rest of the parking lot will be plowed now. They'll push all this snow up over here. My parking spot has been cleared. Crackly here. It's about six degrees. As you can see, the Model Y is sitting out there. I'm going to bring it up here and plug it in for the night. So let's uh, get that done. It's, I think, six degrees according to my phone. Let's see what it looks like in the car. Okay. Looks like... My charger was set in front of my car. Now look at that. Looks like all the snow fell off the front. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get in this thing. Well, as you see, the uh, handle gets a little crispy. Let's see. There we go. Come on. So I've got the same problem I had earlier. There we go, I switched to a wider view. Let me uh, see if I can, I suspect the window has the same problem. All right, let's see what happens. Come on, same problem six degrees and all this snow melted. I suspect it's being a poo. Okay. All right, let's see what we got now. Come on. Well, 
hate to do that. I'm going to open the window anyway, even though it didn't go down. And we'll warm it up in here a little bit. Get my... See how the back window does. It's handles frozen. No, it's not happy either. Six degrees is awful cold. That's right, we'll uh, set this up on the car. What happens is the sun warms up stuff here and then uh, when it gets cold again, it freezes. Okay. Now I'm not shutting the door all the way because the window is uh, is still not retracted. So here's what I'm going to do. We'll go ahead and start it. Oh, it's colder than we think. Minus three degrees Fahrenheit. It's below zero. That's right. We're going to drive it up here. Turn the uh, defrosters on here. Let it sit here for a minute. All right, I'll be back. I'm gonna let this defrost a little bit. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. I've turned on the uh, front defroster and the internal temperature is up. And uh, try to warm it up a little bit in here. I guess if I was smart, I should have uh, turned the climb it on remotely let it warm up before I came out but I did not that's yeah, an error on my part all right well I'm gonna drive it on up well uh, yes the driver's door is open that's okay does it not let, let me drive because the driver's door is open oh it's back in park <laughs> there we go we'll just drive it up here now I park it up by the house generally because there's a lot of uh, vehicle traffic and junk like that out here. Okay, we are here and uh, we're in park now. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. Let's uh, do that and we'll let this to continue to warm up here. Okay, I've got a uh, 100 foot number 12 extension cord here that I usually plug the car in. I can plug it in on 240 in the uh, shop, but I decide just to plug it in here. All right, let me get my, uh, my uh, mobile connector hooked up here. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can open this. Press the right button. Come on. Yeah, everything's gonna get all this ice out of the way. Come on, give it to me. Hold it open. There we go. Okay, say ah. Uh, All right, it's happy. Okay, so let's take a look at this door now. My hands are getting cold. Brr. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get the mobile connector under the car. I think I'll just leave the heat on and the door kind of closed. I shouldn't have opened it, but I did. It's okay. We'll let this run for a little bit and I'll be back. Okay, window's working. It was uh, stuck in here, frozen. I gave it a little time of warming up and everything is good now. So the window seems to be uh, just fine. I'm going to let it uh, charge in here and uh, we'll be good to go. I'm going to go eat a little bit more later. It's minus three degrees. 
Okay, it's 8.45. Thought I'd come out and see uh, what temperature the car is. Here's the uh, mobile connector. Let's see if we can open this door. Let's see, I don't think I can turn a light on, but the door is good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Window complained a little, but it came down. Oof. Oh, look what temperature it is now. It's only minus nine. It's okay. We'll just let the car run all night. We'll come back in the morning. We will let the car sit here all night on charge. Come back in the morning. And uh, we'll see what happens. At this rate, it'll probably be 20 below or something, but it's okay. We'll see how the uh, car works out. And uh, windows working at minus nine. So good night. Check it out in the morning. Charger's happy. Well, it's three degrees. I've preheated the car using the app to 60 degrees for 30 minutes per the manual. And here we are. The Model Y has been uh, sitting here overnight. I think it got down to uh, very cold. As you can hear, you can hear the heat pump running. Icicles and all. So let's see if door opens. Just gonna open the door and we'll check the window here and no problem. I preheated it for 30 minutes per the manual. Let's take a look inside now. And uh, inside reports one degree and it's pleasant. So actually uh, let's take it for a drive. A lot of the fossil fuel people have to warm engines up and things like that and you see it's still charging we'll undo the charge cable i'll pull it out from underneath the car here and i'll just set it up over here for now when we get done with our demo here we'll play with it it's buzzing in the car And here we are. Let me put in the secret code. And we're good to go. Let me get my seat belt on. Try to do this one handed. I'm gonna set the phone down here a second. Sorry about that. Okay, seat belt on. And uh, we're ready to roll. Put it in reverse. What's it whining about? Oh, I guess it would be nice if I'd actually shut the driver's door. That'd probably be a good idea. All right, we're in reverse. We're ready to roll. Let's go. Now, admittedly, the, the ground here has been plowed. As we saw in the first video, uh, this car was seven inches of ground clearance while it moved back about 60 feet It uh, doesn't go very well with only seven inches of ground clearance and performance tires But it is all-wheel drive and uh, Appears to be no trouble We'll take it up on the road My buddy's uh, place here Has been plowed And a little all-wheel drive. That's just for fun here. Let me punch it and see what happens. Ready? There we go. Nothing. <laughs> the traction control took over right away. Keeps me from spinning the tires. Let's try it again here on this icy patch. Ready? Here goes. Watch my foot. Here we go. All to the floor. And nothing. That's one of the benefits of the Tesla here is it really saves you from over acceleration where you would cause trouble and try to spin out. Sorry going right into the sun. 
heading west now. Make that uh, headed east. I guess if I knew my directions here. We'll take it down the road here a little bit. And uh, see, I think there's uh, more snow past uh, the driveway. And uh, looking good. Stand by one. Oh, I know what happened. If you remember yesterday, I opened the uh, back door and it wouldn't go down. And what's happened now, as you can see, a little vibration made the car window, the door open. All right, get all that crap out of the way. Now we're closed. All right, on with the test. Still one degrees here. Set the phone down, put my seatbelt on. Put in the secret code and we're good to go. Now, this is not plowed here, but it's been driven on. I think we'll be okay as long as I don't run into 11 inches of snow. Okay, see what happens when I floor it. You ready? That's floored. Traction control says, no way. I'm not gonna let you spin out with nearly 450 horsepower of torque and uh, all that. It's not gonna let me do anything weird. So driving down this road, it's been uh, driven on as you can see. And, uh, you know, it's uh, a little slippery, but again, uh, traction control is good. Go over the cattle guard, drilling down the road. This is normal uh, type snow driving. Now these are, again, my summer tires. They are uh, nothing special. They uh, are, in fact, are probably not the best things to be driving around here in the snow. That's okay, we'll drive down to the end of the road here and uh, out on the highway it's uh, it's plowed. So we'll make a U-turn and uh, come back. Let's speed this up. I know you don't wanna sit through me driving another half a mile of uh, winter road, but I do want you to see it so that you'll be comfortable with uh, driving your Tesla in such snow conditions. Uh-oh. We've got the deer, a lot of deer around here. These are uh, what are called mule deer. And uh, the mule deer are uh, prevalent in this part of the world. And of course, just to refresh your memory, I'm here in Wyoming. The car is a little goosey, but you would imagine uh, being on uh, packed down snow and ice. So let's uh, do a time lapse. Uh, we'll drive down here. I don't really want to turn around here. It's uh, not as much fun as driving it down the road. Okay, we are uh, at the end of the road here now. As you can see, it's out on the highway. It's been cleared. We're gonna make a Yui. Go back up the road here. Over the cattle guard. And down the road. All right, let's do a time lapse.
So yeah, you can see here, the uh, 11 inches of snow is gonna stick around here for a while. And uh, it's just crazy. Let's uh, try a stopping test now and accelerate here a little bit. If I can, traction controls, keep in it. Okay, on the brakes. And we're skidding. ABS took over, of course. So there you are. So you can stop and you can see it's pretty slippery. That's okay. We'll back up here and uh, head back to the ranch. So that gives you a little bit of feel for what the Tesla will do just on snow. And of course, uh, here on the plowed, it's better. Didn't get all of it. You don't want to scrape away all your dirt. So there you go. Let me uh, stop this recording and I will uh, start it up when, once we get stopped in the parking spot here. Okay, we're just about here in the parking spot. I park here because uh, that's where I plug in. Just a little information. Uh, when I come to the ranch, uh, while I've got 240 to plug into, I uh, just choose to go ahead and plug it into a 120 volt uh, outlet. I run the extension cord, that yellow extension cord there, out of house power and just keep the car plugged in. My job keeps me uh, going here and I'm um, gone for a few days at a time. So uh, what happens is the car slowly charges. I'm not in any hurry. But in the cold weather, of course, it keeps the car uh, systems warm and keeps the battery peaked up here. Okay, so we are now in a heat wave, four degrees. So I hope this gives you a little idea of what a Tesla would do in super cold weather. Last night, I think it got down to zero or a little below. Uh, when we looked at it in the evening, it was at minus nine. I wasn't out here uh, past then. I went to bed early so I can get up uh, early and get going. Got another day of uh, on the road here in Wyoming for a few days, and then I'll be back. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this cold weather stuff uh, helped you out. I would suggest a couple things. If you're planning to drive your Tesla in cold weather, snow and ice, uh, the tires uh, should probably be changed out to winter tires. The tires that was delivered here on the Model Y Performance are summer tires. While they work okay in the snow, they have better tires that are more aggressive and are bite into the ice and snow a little bit better other than the tires here. What we found out with the tests that I did earlier is uh, when I backed up the car and I tried to bring it forward again, uh, going uh, slightly uphill on these tires was very difficult to do. It took me probably 15 minutes of going into slip start and back, trying to get up back where I was. And I moved it up about 50 feet, but it was a lot of screwing around on these tires. So if you're gonna be in cold weather, change them out to winter tires for that season, and this car will perform flawlessly. It doesn't like summer tires in the cold weather. The second tip that I would give you with any Tesla is you have an application, as you saw, where you can remotely turn on the climate. It also warms up the battery in preparation for you to drive, the app will warm your car up. It will actually put heat on the windows so that the windows open. Being frameless windows as they are, they rely on the window to come down to open up. But in reading the owner's manual, I found out something quite interesting. If you read the owner's manual under cold weather conditions, the software engineers are brilliant. During cold weather, the frameless windows do not extend all the way up into the cavity during cold weather conditions. Why? Well, for the reason you saw in video one, where I tried to open the window being frozen shut, it allowed me to still open the window without damaging the uh, top of the window seal and it allowed me to open the door even though I couldn't get the window down. Now that's some brilliant engineering. Go Tesla. Anyway, there you have it. 
I hope you enjoyed these two videos. If you would pass them on to your other folks considering to buy a Tesla, I think they would get some good information out of it. I try my best here to do uh, the videos that I think everybody needs to know. So there you have it. I'll be heading home in uh, the coming week here, and uh, I'll do another road trip video, so keep an eye out for that. You might even find a video while I'm out working. Thank you very much for watching this video and all my other videos, and I hope all the content helps out. Take care, and I'll look for you again.